see I'm a little bit a uh, little bit sweaty um, and I'm out here in the garden because it needs tended to over the goats today but we are right on top of needing to work goats I mean like we're needing to work them here in the next like two weeks today the reason I'm shooting this video in the garden because as you know we're not a homestead channel um i don't know I just, we've been watching homestead rescue and those are the people that give the good people that call their place a homestead a bad name now i am not in the 1800s and i did not get 160 acres of land here in nebraska so i'm not calling it a homestead it's just our little farm it's just how we do it if you have a homestead i don't care just understand where i'm coming from there's like the bad stigma of people like everybody um <laughs> so don't get offended to that anyway what i'm doing today is this is not a sponsored video but um i'm coming to you again today um partnering with high seat they tried the boots on last night they came in on friday uh, a few days ahead of schedule they're supposed to be here on next wednesday but anyway, they got here, uh, tried them on, and I like the tread pattern of them. They're a tighter top boot, um, so they're not an easy slip in and out. They're point your foot in, pull the tab, and then step into them. So, um, so that's just my first thing there. And in wearing them last night, they seemed like they were a little bit stiffer. Um, my feet, they weren't sore, but you could tell it was like a new set of boots I haven't been wearing. Um, so is there some break-in? I'm gonna say if you wear them most of a day. Now I've only worn them a couple hours. So I've been out here for just a little bit tilling up the sweet corn, which I hopefully I'm not killing too much of it because I made the rows just a hair too narrow because um, I didn't have the furrower kit or the ridger or the hiller kit. Um, but uh, we're out here testing these boots today because frankly, it's either my high C uh, mid cap rain boots I normally wear I don't want to wear my work boots because they've got an aggressive um, sole to them. They get packed full of mud. I just, I don't want to do that. Um, and my other shoes that I've been wearing outside, I've completely wore through them. They're a set of Twisted X, short leather, almost more like a dress shoe. Hate those things. Um, <laughs> never buying those things again. Um, anyway, those are time to hit the trash can. So I was really thankful that the timing of high C coming out with this because I'd been saying it'd be kind of cool to have a uh, a short boot and I know some other companies have them and I watch Flair uh, he's from Nebraska here if you know him I never watch Guggen Squad stuff I don't care about fishing or any of that stuff but he's a Nebraskan and he does a lot of a lot of stuff on YouTube and I've noticed he's wore some short pairs of boots a lot lately so you know being a fat man in humid weather um, I'm in my shorts and short socks and these new boots so anyway um so where i feel these boots are gonna fit in is it's days like this we are in a drought um but yet the grass is damp i watered the garden yesterday i didn't water the corn just because i knew i wanted to get out of here and till it i didn't want it too wet um so it's days like this where i've gotten a little bit of mud on them um let me spin you around here so, as you can see by my potatoes that I need to finish weeding and I need to mound up. Um, they're a little wet, got a little bit of mud on them. But these have got a lot more of an aggressive tread pattern to them. Um, like I said, they're, my ankle is about right here. So they come up about, this is actually my mid-calf sock line. So when I'm looking like a complete uber dad at 35 wearing shoes and mid-calf socks, with my pasty legs those socks hit me kind of right in here if you can see my tan line so that's kind of where they're hitting but so far they fit the bill um i was just going to see if i could step over here somewhere where uh, i can't make a tread pattern for you because i got it filled with uh dirt and such but as you can see, I tilled this up. I've got good moisture in this. I water this every other day with a sprinkler. Um, I'm gonna come in here with that furrow kit. And I'm gonna blow this up here just like we would do on our commercial farm with corn if we irrigate with gravity irrigation pipe 
and I'll throw a little bit of a ridge here. Not too much because the corn's pretty little yet, but um, we had a little bit of a washout here. Sprinkler, um, our tripod sprinkler was over here and it started leaking and coming loose and it kind of washed some corn out. So <laughs> live and learn, but stuff is young enough. I might be able to plant a couple in here because we've got a lot more corn to plant because we're trying to stagger it. But obviously with this, you know, these boots have worked perfect. Um, as you notice, they have a tighter top to them. And so with that, there's not a whole lot of room for stuff to fall into them. And that was kind of my test today. You can see just a little bit of room. And that was kind of my test this morning with the tiller because it's counter rotating tying every time I pick it up or I reverse it, it'll flick dirt at me, um, check things like that. And then last night when I was doing chores, I wanted to check it with, um, when I was, you know, tossing grain every now and then you'll spill some, or if you walk through the sheds, they need cleaned out. I feel like I've been saying that forever right now, but it's been so dry. Like there's some buildup, but they're not gross. Um, you know, even walking through that dry stuff, it doesn't really kick it up or over here in front of, um, this other shed that the goats have out here in this big pen, the chickens have rooted around that dirt and it's just like three inches of powder. Um, and walking through that last night to fill a stock tank, nothing got in them. So I would say the one, um, the one I, I would say at this point, after just a few hours of wearing these boots. The only downside I see in them is they do not slip on as easily as my mid-calf rain boots. Um, but also my mid-calf rain boots are probably the easiest thing to slip on because they have a very accepting um, upper on them. Uh, they're pretty wide and so you can get your foot in real easy. And then the high C, um, I know they don't call it a rain boot. They're, they're a different series, but they have the tall ones they sent me to try out. But like I said, it's been so dry. That one's a little harder to get into because the upper is so tall. It's more like a just under your knee or above your calf type of, type of boot. Um, so that one's a little harder to get on just because of that. You got to physically pull them on. And then um, these just due to the, it's almost like it's got an elastic top and it's pinched down a little bit. They don't let it open up. Um, but the benefit to that that I see is A, when you're walking around doing stuff like this, um, you're not going to get stuff in them. And then also um, it keeps it on your foot because if it's not very, if it's not very tight, I could easily see if you stepped in like some heavy clay soil or something like if I was back home irrigating and I stepped into a few inches of heavy, um, heavy soil that was wet, you could probably easily step out of, if they were made by like my mid calf rain boot, you could easily step out of them. So that's where I think, you know, that is a benefit here. And if you want to be honest, I was really worried once I saw them and I put them on that they were going to rub my leg raw. And so far there's, I think what it is, is there's just enough gap to them that, yeah, they, they graze your leg um, as you move. Those were provided to me by High C to test out because as of the day of shooting this, these boots are not yet public yet. So, um, so when you see this video, I'll have gotten word that they've gone public with these boots. getting them tested out here a little early um and like i said so far i like them um i don't even know a price point of this boot yet i have got details coming in an email but i could not tell you how these compare but based on my uh experience with their other boots shane has got a set um and the price point those come in at compared to like the major competitors um if i wasn't testing these for them or the other couple pairs of boots, 
the value is there. Remember, value is the quality you get compared to the price, um, and the value is very good. Um, I've had those other boots, I would have to look back at least a year now, um, for sure. And they are single handedly, like, is that the right phrase? They are easily, they are easily my most comfortable pair of boots to throw on. Uh, um, I'm gonna get back to work in the garden today and that's at least my first impressions of this boot. Um, I'd even told Selena before she asked me if I wanted to try these, um, that I was gonna put a video out here for you guys here on the Lucky M channel. Um, not that, you know, a ton of you are gonna watch it, um, not have any goat content in it, but I love that boot, that other boot, that mid-calf boot. Um, like I said, I wouldn't call it a work boot, but general basic me doing chores around here, um, I love that thing. It's super comfortable. And these are already getting more broken, even with this uh, little bit redesigned insole or better insole. It's actually got raised cushion pieces in it in places. So um, I might get at it and we'll check in with you in a little bit. Um, today started my second round of farm visits for all my farm clients that are either a crop share or a custom or a custom blend farm. But I've had these boots on for probably I'd have to look at the time, but I probably had them on for about 14 hours today, um, non-stop. Anyway, this is the boot. And you can tell my pants have been on it because it's got a line. It's still got their little heel thing on it. But you can see the tread is more aggressive. Now this is actually probably goat poop. They had mud on them earlier, but they do clean out very easily. Especially when you go into a co-op to sell some grain for a client and you walk on their um, rug on their floor a couple clumps and it kind of all falls off so I had to <laughs> grab my mud before I walked out but so anyway I do like that this tread is a little more aggressive I do feel it's a little more rugged than the mid calf rain boot um, which is my favorite and after wearing these all day today obviously they did break in more my feet didn't get too hot because I probably drive oh I looked at about 15 or 16 farms today across a couple counties in eastern Nebraska. I probably put on 130 miles, 140 miles doing that. Again, I apologize for the hungry goats. We ran out of grain. The feed company only delivered half the load we ordered. So I'm waiting for them to show up with that, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but after wearing these all day, I realized, cause I said the top's a little tighter. You know, the fit is just different and it fits, if I were to, say the way the sole fits even though it's designed different and it's not that heavy I mean it's a light boot um, honestly it's not a whole lot different than wearing maybe a heavy tennis shoe um, it fits it fits like a pull-on cowboy boot or a lace-up boot I haven't I didn't step in any like deep mud today or heavy wet silt I would have to try pretty hard to get out of these in the mud but it's also short so i'm not going to be in that kind of mud with these this the shaft on these um coming up your leg is a little bit tighter a little more snug fit with just a hair of room um than your other boots would be um or specifically the mid calf because it does provide more opening it would fit more snug like a tall boot probably um and then when i mentioned this um, I have a pair of ankle socks on, um, not really thinking about it today. Now, are my legs rubbed raw like some boots could do if you weren't wearing a mid calf sock or a taller sock? No, they're not. Cause this is, this is soft enough and it's just a little bit moist from sweating a little bit. Um, but no, it's not rubbed raw. It is purely just, you know, you can feel it rubbing on your leg, but I'm not raw. If I had a mid calf sock on. I probably wouldn't notice it at all. So, um, so yeah, like I said, I've wanted a pair of short boots for days like this where, you know, honestly, I just don't want to wear my tennis shoes to do chores, um, get them gross, but I don't need a full on boot to get sweaty and I just need a little something. Um, so yeah, I think these are a good mix between, like I said, you do give up some of the ease of slip on. You do have to, you know, if you're a fat guy like me, you got to bend over, you got to use the loop, pull them on. Um, but once they're on, they're there. I don't have jump around in the mud and do fancy, do fancy B-roll and stuff like that. Cause 
I literally hold my phone. So I apologize for the quality of video um, or my corniness videotaping myself tilling in the garden, but uh, kind of is what it is for right now. But, um, but yeah, like I said, um, I had good luck with these boots, guys, just because, you know, they're not a brand you know, and you see a handful of YouTube people reviewing them. Um, they've got them in stock, generally either on their website or on Amazon. Just give them a try. Um, you know, for the price, you can go through. Even if you were to blow through them, I don't know. For the price, you're not going to regret it. I don't regret any of mine. The only, like I said, the only ones so far I do not wear um, that I've tested are the tall ones. Um, and I got to look up the name of those. They're like a tall rain boot. And that's just because... <sighs> We haven't had the conditions for it, so I just haven't found it favorable to make my whole leg sweat. Um, and in the winter, uh, we haven't got any snow hardly at all the last couple winters. But with that, me and the hungry goats, we're going to sign off. I'm going to put stuff away for the night. And I'm going to go take my position, feeding the bottle to the baby a couple times tonight. Hopefully we get a couple hours of sleep. And with that, guys, check the links in the description um i would imagine there's probably a little bit of a discount code for you guys down there i know in the past it was code lucky um so double check that i'm um, like i said pre-recording all of this so not a whole lot of no lot not a whole lot of information to go off of but yeah.